Madison. For Madison LaFollette, a senior, six foot, five inch, number 40, Quincy Henderson. At center for Appleton West Jr., six foot 11, number 42, Brian Butch. The head coach for Madison LaFollette is Eric Nelson. The head coach for Appleton West is Greg Harches. The referees for today's game are Kelvin Porter from Milwaukee and Billy Young also from Milwaukee. Time now for the gut milk starting lineup from Wisconsin's dairy producers. For Appleton West, they'll start two seniors, Baker and Hacker, three juniors, Butch Buchanan and Feek. Feek averages 8.3 points a game. For Madison LaFollette, three seniors, a junior and a sophomore. Keep an eye on Quincy Henderson, number 40. 14.4 points, 6.2 rebounds a game. He shoots 64% from the field. LaFollette, and here we go, Division One quarterfinal action. Tip controlled by Appleton West. Dallas Hacker gets it in the hands of David Buchanan, and here we go. Starting out man-to-man. -man. Right off the bat, that's a jumper by Hacker that's short. Rebound goes to Jante Flowers, Madison LaFollette. They look to push as they will most of the day. No travel there by Jason. Gets it to brother Michael. Now Jante back to Jason. Here's number three, Terrence Jackson working the lane. Michael Flowers now in the lane. Puts a little floater up. Rolls short. And the rebound to Butch. Big fellow's got to get every rebound for him. No second chance opportunity, opportunities for LaFala tonight, and that'll help Appleton West a lot. And now Appleton West with its second possession. They look inside to the post, but the pass is stolen there by Jante Flowers, and a whistle stops play, and we have a foul. I think the big fella got pulled from behind. That's why he couldn't catch the ball in the post. Foul against the foul a little late on the whistle, but still his call is made. So Quincy Henderson with the first personal foul. First team on LaFollette. Inbound to Butch over Henderson. Nice play. Nice setup with Butch setting a pick for Baker, and then he came down slash to the middle. 2-0 Terrors. One minute into the game. Michael Flowers hits from the free throw line. It's a good sign for LaFollette. He's not afraid of the big guy. Turn and shoot. Michael Flowers is just a sophomore, but he's averaging 12 and a half points per game. Now Buchanan caught across the timeline, but there's a nice outlet to Butch. And in the corner, it's Hacker. Right back, missed the shot. Butch in the lane. No. Rebound, J Jason Flowers for LaFollette. Here they come. Jackson left open for three. Transition offense, that's what Coach Hutchins was from Appleton West was concerned about. He was concerned about his, his guys being able to beat him back on the on the fast break. Madison LaFollette has gone to a 22-1 record this season with just that type of play. And the ball out of bounds. It goes off the hands of Matt Feek. Classic matchup. Let's see what happens. Right now it's 5-2 LaFollette. There's Flowers outside, another three. That's Jason Flowers. They're going to try to for force him out of that zone by hitting threes. Good sign early for LaFollette, hitting those threes. So now Appleton West down 8-2. David Buchanan with it. 34 is Ben Baker. Now to Butch. Triple team, loses it, and here comes LaFollette again. Looking ahead to Jonte Flowers, to Jason Flowers. And ball on the floor, Henderson. And it's tied up. Boy, that wow. Is, that is great <laughs> hustle. Both ends of the floor, they're getting after it. The big fella down here, he's got to make sure that he doesn't put the ball on the floor. He's going to have four guys around him. You know, I'm not getting all these names, so if you can catch up and help yeah, me get a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Great hustle, look at that. Everybody on the floor after the loose ball. That's you want, you want your team to get after it. Hustle intensity are key in state tournament. There's Nathan Brown, 33, into the lineup for Madison LaFollette. Henderson. Nice move there by Jonte Flowers, and it rolls in. 10-2 LaFollette. They're not showing any respect for Butch's shot blocking ability at this point. They're just squaring up, shooting. Nice form, shots going in for him. Speak. Well, it's a timeout. It'll be a 30-second timeout, Appleton West. 5.03 remaining first period. Madison LaFollette, 10. Appleton West 2. The 2002 WIA tournament is brought to you by Menards. Menards is a proud sponsor with the honors. 
10-5. And near steal, Michael Flowers from 13. Henderson battles, puts for the rebound. It falls into the hands of Matt Speak, Appleton West. Kind of rushed that shot. Speak looking for Butch, but stolen there. It was Brown with the initial deflection. Oh, and look at the hustle as Speak gets it away from Michael Flowers, but a foul as Speak tried to recover. It's a transition offense for Madison LaFollette. One of the concerns for Coach Hart, who said Alton West, as you can see, raked him across the arm. You remember LaFollette in 82 with Rick Olson? That, you, that was the year you won a color, right? Yeah, 82? I, I outscored Rick, but his team outscored mine. So I, <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the night before that, we had played Oostberg, actually. Yeah. And we lost our starting point guard, who was 6'3", who we were looking forward to having him guard Rick. Oh. And he sprained his ankle, and uh, Rick got Rick's team on that night. There great player, great memory. Great tournament. Yes. Michael Flowers hits the second free throw, 11-5, Lancers. Coach Hartridge says he would use Bill Butch in terms of uh, breaking the press because he can see over people. Like that. That's an indication right there. Yeah. Now, Dan Raditz, number three, is in for Appleton West. There's Butch. And he's fouled. Somebody lost uh, some sort of wrap. Is it Butch? Yeah, he's one you know, of those little ankle or uh, knee wraps they have. And so, excuse me, I called Brian Bill before. I got, I got so excited. <laughs> it's his older brother. Hey, look at that. <laughs> That happens a lot. <laughs> All the guys you know. <laughs> well, I'm serious. <laughs> Into the Appleton West lineup, number 50, Nick Hansen. <laughs> three, you got three guys. You got put four guys out of it? That what That's it what it takes. <laughs> flowers. Inside. Fade away by the other Flowers. No, and Butch rebound. Appleton West looks to tie it. Buchanan pushing. Look at the steal by Flowers. Wow, Jonte Flowers. Quickness. Now Jason. Back to Jonte. Here's Michael. Dumps it off to his brother, Jonte, for the basket. So what, what a nice play by the Flower brothers to look for each other. They drew Brian Butch up to the free throw line in a nice backdoor pass. Jonte Flowers with four. That's the lead for the Lancers. Looks like Brian Butch is a little tired at this point. I think the announcers are tired at this point, <laughs> the way this is going. Loose ball to the backcourt. It's an over and back. You feel like your head's on a swivel right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's, like, it's, not, it's not like we've seen these teams all year. We're trying to learn all these names, and it's going all over the place. <laughs> Thank you for your patience at home, everybody. There's that save by Jonte Flowers. 32, Matt Caps in for Madison LaFollette. He's a three-point specialist for the Lancers. I got the wrong flowers again. 15-9, <laughs> LaFollette. Good luck. Yeah, We're thanks. all counting on you. <laughs> you look great. Boy, I would be very concerned if I were you. <laughs> we approach the two-minute mark of the first quarter. Another steal for the Lancers, and as... Mike, or rather Jason Flowers. A big fella, do you? That's fine with me. Because <laughs> he is a big <laughs> fella. <laughs> You're certainly accurate on that. I know that. There's Terrence Jackson dropping it off to Jonte Flowers from the baseline. Jonte Flowers with six. The lead is eight. Boy, their weak side cuts are very effective. Robiszewski working against Jason Flowers. Now Wabaszewski gets it back. 134 remaining. Inside pass to Ben Baker. Overlays. And oh my goodness. Foul on Jason Flowers, but he got most of that shot from Brian Butch. That's when the big guy. That's when the big guys hate uh, the little guys coming. Because he can't see him, so he may, may go up a little softer. See, he did a nice job of getting the guy out of his way, number 33. I mean, when, <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Tennessee and Purdue is getting interest from Marquette, Iowa, Duke, Notre Dame. I mean, you name it, they're talking to him. He's big time. You know, I, I saw him practice yesterday. I think he's even taller than 6'11". I think he's over seven feet now. That's that's why you call him the big guy. That's he's the big fella. He made me feel tiny. <laughs> and that's hard to do. <laughs> Caps for three. 
Ring it up. He felt good about that one. Kept his arm in the air. He's fully extended. I went to a game where LaFalle had played at Middleton this year, and Matt Capps hit 10 three-point shots. Wow. That's one for one in the state tournament this year. 2011, LaFalle. Look at the pressure defense. At that time, I think Jackson was a little too aggressive and got him with the body. So Buchanan draws the foul on Terrence Jackson. First personal, fifth team foul. That time, Caps pushes Mogensen for a personal foul. I can see why Brian Butch is so tired. He's working hard to get, a, get an opening in there in the post. He's got to fend off three people, then look for the ball, then reposition if he gets it. First personal foul on Matt Caps. Now five team fouls in La Follette with 46 seconds left in the quarter. And a foul. Nope. Out to the free throw line. Nice pitch, uh, dish back to Mogensen oh. Luttrell. Oh, boy. Had it all set up, and Mogensen just couldn't handle it. That's the height factor that Coach Hutch was talking about that Brian brings to his team. He can release the pressure himself by getting the ball up high and having a backdoor cut, or in the case of a uh, press offense, he can look, see over the defenders and break the press. Dan Raditz back in for Appleton West, number three, and you look at Brian Butch going to the bench for the final half minute of the first quarter. My gosh, it's only the first quarter. It's 20 to 11. It's been great. Smart substitution by Coach Hart. Just get Brian some time on the bench. Now Madison LaFollow will look for the last shot. This is Jonte Flowers. That's Quincy Henderson. Caps with a long three straight on. No, it just went right. Caps will get one more off. Not quite. Good look. Missed the shot. Saved in by Nathan Brown. And LaFala keeps it. Ah, oh, cross-court pass stolen by Hacker. That type of skip pass is tough. You're going over three or four people to get it there. Second turnover on LaFala. And near steal. And now it is a steal as Jonte Flowers takes it away from Feek. Here's Jackson. Terrence Jackson. Look out, Michael Flowers open for three. It's gonna be short. Butch battles Flowers for the rebound, but it goes to Hacker. Boy, Madison LaFollette just flies all over the court. That's unbelievable. Yeah. You think it's a simple five-foot pass in the backcourt and somebody's coming up to challenge it. Butch, double-teamed again. Gets around Look Henderson. He'll go to the line. That's why he's being recruited right there. For all you folks in Wisconsin, he puts the ball on the floor. Most people run out of options at that initial double team, but does a nice job of sealing here. He's got two guys on him, takes the ball to the floor, and then draws the, the three-point play. This kid's got unbelievable skills. Great savvy for the game. Fouls on Michael Flowers for LaFoud, his second personal foul, and Butch will try to complete the three-point play. He does. 20 to 14, 7 0 1 left, second quarter. Then he's composed enough to hit the, the free throw at state tournament after that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Flowers missed the three badly. Quick shots against the zone don't help offensive rebounds. That's helping Appleton West right now. Steal Nathan Brown. Here's Michael Flowers working with Brown. Offensive foul, Michael Flowers. His third. What a great recovery after a bit left in the half. Now, a two-on-one, a three-on-two now developing for Appleton West, but they'll hold it up. Here, quickly, the follow got back. Great recovery. Here's Buchanan driving another offensive foul. Boy, nobody's afraid to take a charge today, are they? That's good, solid defense fundamentals right there. If you can't block the shot, you try to get a charge. Every possession helps your team. You're denying them a basket, and you're getting the ball back. So important. Appleton West with 10 turnovers already. And the foul has taken advantage. They lead 20 to 14. Near steal there by Buchanan. Now here's Flowers pulling up from 13 again. Well, oh, he's a nice player. He's not afraid. Seven points for Jason Flowers. Lead is eight again for the Lancers. Buchanan will drive. Kick it back to Butch. Working on Brown. Blocked by Henderson. 
Jackson. No foul. Rebound Butch. Bodies all over the place. Is this a college game? <laughs> Good <laughs> night. These guys are going at each other. Steal. <laughs> this is great high school oh, basketball. Man. Jackson to Henderson. <laughs> Three-pointer Quincy Henderson. Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> Good hand-eye, you know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, you're trying to get the ball, the ball in our pocket. That's, That's the right. deal. 25-14 La Follette. Five minutes left. Second quarter. Cool. <laughs> Matt Feek. Jump hook. Flowers, guys for the rebound, and here comes LaFollette. Terrence Jackson with it on the wing. Look at the move and the finish. Man, oh man. An ankle breaker, five points for Jackson, largest lead of the game, 27-14 Lancer. Not that Appleton West is playing too poorly, it's just the fact that Madison LaFollette is all over the place on their defense. Now look at that, look at that, the flowers there. Now Jackson will get in someone's face. Now, Brown's right up on Butch. Three-point attempt, misses. Butch, rebound. No, tip, got it. Yeah. Effort he, after effort oh, on both ends. He doesn't stop. Midway point, second quarter, 27-16, LaFollette. Inside of Brown, reverses, overlays. Oh, too bad. And here comes Appleton West. They have a man ahead of everyone, Raddatz, but now Jackson comes back to guard him. Now Appleton West sets it up with 3.45 in the quarter, 27-16. Nice patience by Appleton West that time. That time on the help, the foul comes. Feeding Butch. Kicks it back to Feek. Look at the back. hands. Now Wabaszewski. And a blocking foul. 24, Scott Swanson is now in. He's got two guys hanging all over him. He's able to fend them off and catch the ball one-handed. Yeah. And he's just a junior. But but we can see him trying to get other guys involved, too. Sure. I mean, you know, there's a kick out. He realizes the double team's coming. Yeah. And so do his teammates. That's the nice thing. They cut for him. He's going to find them. Here's backup point guard, 24, Dusty Wabaszewski. My man, Wabi. There's Wabi. Wabi averages 2.1 points per game. Substitutions. Nathan Brown back in for LaFollet. 35, Doug Mogensen. And three, Dan Raditz. Caps will load it up again for three. Rebound Nathan Brown, but he lost it to Raddatz. So Appleton West looks to close that seven-point deficit. Steal. Terrence Jackson. Lay it in. Jackson. One thing Coach Hargis was concerned about was the, the guard play up front and how they would handle the pressure. And a five-second violation. Appleton West. Well, they had a little communication problem or who was going to take it out first, and I think the count started then, and then the, it was too late to get it out. Here's that last steal by Jackson. Good, solid defense kept them in front of him. Knocked the ball away for an easy two at the other end. That's what Madison LaFalla is trying to get you in. They're trying to get, get you to force you into bad mistakes where they can get some transition layups. LaFalla has 10 steals already. Flowers, no foul, heard some contact, but nothing called, and a foul on Appleton West. Well, got it eventually. Gets it to the point guard. Look at that. That's just pretty, pretty yeah. execution. That's nice. 31-20. 1-22 remaining, first half. Butch, miss, foul. Nice. Boy, he's nice. done that about three, four times on the foul. His and point starting to add up. He has 17. Putting Appleton West on his back again tonight. And Eric Nelson will take a 30-second. <laughs> Did he stay at the line to finish that one? Jonte Flowers with a rebound for Madison LaFosse. So, 31-23. 
as Appleton West again trims that lead just a little bit. There's the whole story of our Division I quarterfinal game. Appleton West, Madison, the final. Nick Hansen. Get it up, Nick. Oh, oh rims out at the horn. Wow, what a great first half. Madison the foul, 31. Appleton West, 23. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA network station. Didn't somebody come? I, I've heard of some people that have graduated. I actually have a degree from his initials are, 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 are Jay Wilson, Jay I think. That's uh -huh. right. <laughs> the Mighty Royals will play tomorrow in Division Four of it. Quincy now finds himself very successful at Madison La Follette. 33-23, Lancer. Cannon lost it. Boy, there just are no uh -huh. straight line drives for <laughs> Epson West. The, Lan the Lancers just forced force you outside. He had, he had to go 40 feet to get 10 feet. Yeah, yeah. great defense. 16 turnovers on Appleton West. Jackson. Flowers. Jason Flowers blocked by Butch. Jason gets it back. Michael for the long three. Got it. <laughs> oh, he made Ray Allen envious on yeah. that one. Six points now for Michael Flowers. Here's the ball pressure. 36-23 and a timeout by Greg Harches. Appleton West, 30-second timeout. So we'll see Butch making another great defensive play. But again, LaFont ends up with points. That is way Ooh. out there. Largest lead of the game now for Madison LaFalla, 36-23. The 2002 WIA tournament is brought to you by Wisconsin's Technical Colleges. More vital to our state than ever before. Where would we be without them? You can oh, like a lot. Nice job by David Buchanan to get back and stop the transition offense that time. The Terrors need more of that, that's for sure. Down 13, Flowers. Miston, rebound to Dallas Hacker for the Terrors. Brian Butch has got him changing his shot. He's got to quick it. Yep. Six minutes left, third quarter. So look at the battle in the post. Henderson and Butch, I think they're going to get Henderson for saddling up there. Nice follow through, nothing but the bottom of the net again. Appleton West. Appleton West needs more of that to get back in the game. Well, here's Quincy Henderson, all-state volleyball player, but he says he's rich. He doesn't have nice uh, shoes, but yeah. Henderson, a 67% free throw shooter on the year. Steele. Wow. Oh, he saved it. Wow. No, he didn't. That's Michael Flowers giving it up for the team. And uh, 71, Marquette, 69. So the 12 seed knocks out the 5 seed. We'll see how the Wisconsin Badgers do tomorrow when they play in Washington against St. John. That's an eight versus nine game. Thirty-eight twenty-six. Steele Henderson gets it to Jackson. He loses it. Someone was out of bounds. It was Jackson hitting the line first. Appleton West will get it. There's no quitting Matt Peake. He's going after him on the transition D. Nice job to get back into the play. Again, we see Brian Butch reaching for the bottom of his shorts. Now the long inbound pass. Great catch. Here's the opening for Reddit. Great finish. So, a taste of their own medicine for LaFollette as Appleton West pushes and scores. Did you see Brian Butch deny the inbound pass? <laughs> he does do it all. <laughs> Seven-foot point guard. He'll be appearing at the Holiday Inn later this week, I got a feeling. <laughs> nice baseball pass out of bounds. Great catch. Stop, plant. Nice. Give it to your teammate. He finishes it. Ten-point lead for the Lancers. 4.50 left, third quarter. 
Mark Henderson. Back to the Flowers. Michael will try another long three. Henderson rebounds. Throws up a wild one. Brown all off the head of the Al Oshkosh West player. You know you get a lot of those plays when, when guys are hustling. Appleton West hasn't missed. Fouled only two of six. Nice play. Henderson oh, has it blocked by Butch. Hello, big fella. Oh, oh. And now Butch is fouled. That's Nathan Brown, and Butch is hurt. Keep an eye on it. Hopefully it's just a bruise of some sort, but Butch hit the floor hard. Keep an eye on 42 and White after the block. Oh, I think that hurts. I think he's talking like this. <laughs> oh, the pictures speak for themselves. But he's in there. He's no longer a base in the core. The eyes will stop watering any moment now, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 4-10 left in the quarter. Can all my games be like this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dream on. <laughs> Buchanan. Kicks back out to Hanson. Long three. Long rebound. Buchanan. Michael Flowers bothering him. Butch has it knocked oh, away. Nice Look out. Pass. Showtime. Oh, oh, and it went in. And it wasn't pretty. But it's a three-point opportunity for Michael Flowers. Well, it wasn't exactly what he had planned, but it turned out better than he had planned. Well, it's tough to slam. Rebound the foul at Nathan Brown. Flowers again, driving left hand, no look. Ball on the floor, bodies on the floor. The foul it with it. Wow, it's getting physical out there, and they're letting them play. Oof. If they don't control Jason Flowers, to Terrence Jackson. Jason Flowers. Miss. Rebound 22. That's Matt Feet. He's double teamed. Now he clears it. Hanson looking inside. Jackson steals. Full of foul. Travel. That time Nick Hanson came to cut off Flowers and he traveled. It was interesting that possession with Appleton West, how much more aggressive they were in Butch. I think he had 18 and 11. At the That's his fault. Look at the foul for him. Look at that thin on the ball. Beautiful. Look at how it finishes in the back. Yeah. Jante Flowers. Foul. All the way to the basket. Strong play by Dusty Wabaszewski with .6 seconds left. What do you do at the end of the quarter? You give it to Wabi. He penetrates aggressively and tries to draw a foul, which he does. Clear out. Fourth personal foul on Nathan Brown for Madison LaFollet. Dusty Wabaszewski, 78 points, or 78% free throw shooter on the year. So Wabaszewski will have his second attempt. Again, 0.6 seconds left in the third quarter. That one's good. 42-31. It's a throw, a catch, and a shoot. There's the catch. There's the shot. And I just think that. Uh, oh, no. Michael Powers with a steal. He'll finish. Oh, is he just a sophomore? He is just a sophomore. <laughs> 12 points for Michael Powers. Forty-seven, thirty-four. Raditz. Well, you don't see that every day. I think there's a foul call, right, Don? Thirty-two. Matt Caps with a personal yeah, foul. Yeah, Here's that Michael Flowers dunk, breakaway dunk. Ooh, he was. A, yeah, he. That wasn't a fingertip. Springs. Yeah, he. He can do that. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Dan Raditz to the free throw line to shoot to the 2002 WIA tournament. is brought to you by the Wisconsin Education Council, encouraging you to stay involved and lend your support because every kid deserves a great team. Butch, finds his teammate there. That's Matt Peek with a jumper. You give it to him up high so the little guys can't get at it. So they trade baskets. Speaks first bucket of the day. Say that fast three times. 
Henderson lost it. Saves it. <laughs> Flowers gets it. Oh. He loses it. Brooks, he's fouled by Jason Flowers. Just the, uh, he made 19, so Butch is right there. That's a foul. You know, you promised a foul. You promised seven. Two Rivers, Golden Raiders, Paul Anthony. I hope I'm saying his name right. What, uh, what, uh, great were you in? Here's Matt Peek. Oh. Good entry feed here from his teammate. Early in the game, they weren't, uh, Madison LaFala wasn't allowing that because they were pressuring the ball so well. Ties it. Guess who? Butch. Out of Buchanan. Quickly to peak. Ooh. 42 seconds left. Appleton West trails by two. Good Butch. patience. For the tie. Yes! We were tied at 2-2. It's now 49, 49, 28 seconds left. Eric Nelson holds up one finger. We're going to decide it with a final shot, maybe. <laughs> Michael Flowers, no, Jason Flowers with the ball, 23. 10 seconds. Will it be overtime? Knocked away. Flowers got oh! it! Michael Flowers had missed three shots in a row, I think. And that was a tough shot, boy. It's great to be a sophomore and not have a conscious huh? <laughs> He kept attacking, he kept attacking, and got the one that time to go. Hey, Appleton West, that's off. 40-28, it's not looking good. There's your man, Brian Butch. And a lot of other guys, too. I remember play handsome made. Oh, my God, that was just great. 51-49. Madison West moves out of Division One semifinal. Now, message from your local station. This is your WIA Network station.